Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy. Today, I'm on location in Oklahoma City doing some training, and I thought I would take a, a nice little break to give you guys a nice little video on some of the questions that I've been asked recently by my students that I thought would be very nice to give all my students on the YouTube channel. So, with that said, uh, the subject that we're going to be talking about is controllability. Controlling your aircraft under all circumstances on, and how to be able to do that. So, with that said, that is kind of a loaded question uh, that can go very, very deep. So, for the argument's sake of a five minute video, I'm going to explain just a few things to you. So, the number one thing that you have to think about is you have to understand how your aircraft works and how it, what some, some of the limitations that it, can, that it can have. If you can do that, you can understand and respond accordingly. Your DJI drone has what's called P mode for position hold, S mode for sport mode, and A, -A for Addy mode. Now, what that will do is if you're in position hold, your drone will come up there and hover and be really good, then just hover as long as you want, you can have sticks off, right? Very easy to, con very easy to manage. I consider drones to be easy to fly, hard to control. And we talk about this really over and over again in our flying classes. So I'd like to explain what that means. When the automation is working, everything is fine, everything's great. But what happens when it's not? So you need to understand what happens. So if your GPS system in your aircraft gets environmental influences, magnetic interferences, wireless interferences, um, it can automatically start flying erratically and or automatically kick you out of position hold and go to Addy mode, which is the manual mode, and then your aircraft then starts drifting and far away. Now, unless you're really watching the screen, yeah, there's not gonna be no voice telling you that what's happening. So if you're out there and say you're flying and all of a sudden you start seeing some excessive drift, that's a sure sign that your position hold is no longer working and which you can automatically just go to your app and take a look at it and see what, what's going on. You need to be able to fly manually if that's the case. Uh, we've talked about this in numerous videos that I have. Really, really important to fly, be able to fly manually. And when you're flying manually, not only is it got a complete, completely different animal than with position hold because what I consider position hold is, is with training wheels. Like if you're riding a bike with training wheels. Once those training wheels are kicked off, you're on your own to fly that aircraft, which you need to be able to know how to do. So, if you have an aircraft like Phantom 4 Pro, or Phantom 4, or um, an Inspire series, or Ma um, the Matrice, you can manually switch your aircraft to Addy mode and start practicing flying at mad and Addy mode. And you will find that uh, obviously it's going to be a lot easier to fly when you have very little wind compared to higher winds. And that's something for you as a pilot, you need to have and develop your own comfortability level as to what you're willing to fly in. Because there's going to be no app that says at 100 feet, I have 10 miles an hour winds, 15 mile an hour winds, 25 mile an hour winds. It's not going to happen. We may experience uh, no wind at the surface and 20 mile an hour winds at 150 feet. Or we may experience 15 mile an hour winds at the surface and experience virtually no wind at 150 feet. The wind currents can vary dramatically and there's no rule of thumb for that and the app's not gonna tell you that. So what I recommend doing, to all my students, I recommend taking it, doing, going ahead and flying in, at, in the Addy mode in different wind conditions and that will automatically help your flying proficiency build up your confidence level and if something like that was to happen you'll be able to re respond for the worst case, of scen case scenario if that happens. Now really important tip for some of you guys out there that have a Spark or a Mavic Pro or a Mavic Mini or I mean the Mavic Air you cannot manually switch your aircraft into Addy mode. So you're basically, if something was to go wrong with your aircraft, you're at the mercy of your aircraft turning your, going out of P mode to Addy mode. 
Now, that necessarily does not happen all the time, which is, is very concerning. So, which is a very big advantage for those of you that are on the fence of getting a Phantom 4, or Phantom 4 Pro, or something higher. Those that has that manual capability. So, in one situation, one of my students, they were flying in Inspire 2, and they were only about maybe 25, 30 feet up in the air, out over water, about maybe 30, 50, 30 to 40 feet in front of them, and they got a very big magnetic interference. That caused their, dart, their drone to dart out of control. Now, because they were prepared for the worst case scenario, they had the presence of mind of switching themselves from P mode to ADDIE mode and taking themselves out of that situation. But the aircraft, for whatever reason, didn't switch them out into, uh, and back to ADDIE mode. So those are some of the things I want you to understand. These are why some crashes happen, and these are some of the situations why you might see fly or flyaways. When someone says, oh, my aircraft flew away. Well, the aircraft probably flew away because the operator didn't understand what was going on, and they didn't know how to be able to fly the aircraft in manual mode or be able to get that effectively to get that aircraft back. So with that said, I hope that really helps some of you guys out there that, are, that have been really not understanding these concepts and principles of what happens and why it happens. So with that said, if, please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. And as always, thanks again. If you like this video and would like to see more drone training videos in the near future, please hit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Looking to learn how to fly drones like a professional? Steel City Drones Flight Academy has exclusive drone training content. So go over and check out SteelCityFlightAcademy.com for more information.